This time it's Motocuzzi's small block V twins. And before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. The man largely responsible for the small block V twins is this guy. This is Lino Tonti. Lino had worked for Mondial in the 1960s before developing his own racing bike, the Linto, in the late 60s. In 71, he developed a new chassis for the rather large V7 and created the V7 Sport, which would eventually spawn the mighty Le Mans 850. Now so versatile was Tonti's frame, they even applied it to the California Cruiser, which is why if you were a Harley Davidson in the 70s and 80s, you had so much trouble trying to keep up with the Cali through the corners. It had a racing frame all along. This is Argentinian businessman Alejandro Di Tomaso, standing in front of his mighty Pantero sports car. In the 70s he swept in and bought Benelli, before later acquiring Motoguzzi after it fell into financial trouble. He had early acquired the Innocenti factory. This had been used to produce minis in the 1960s and 70s, but rather unwisely they had chosen to produce a version of the Austin Allegro. Not surprisingly, this brought financial doom to the factory as it had every other factory that produced the Allegro. And he was able to sweep in and put it to use, producing his own four-cylinder motorcycle. Unfortunately, these machines were not the sales success that Dieter Mesa was looking for. And so in the end, somewhat reluctantly, he allowed Tonti to develop his own range of small block motor goodsies. These would differ greatly from the earlier models. They would make use of new head designs and new technologies. They would employ the Heron head. The head was machined flat and the combustion chamber was cast into the piston. This design meant that production was much cheaper when compared to the larger block older bikes. The machine was also much lighter and much more nimble. These new machines were initially produced using the Innocenti factory. This allowed for large scale production without affecting production at the Mandelo factory. There were initially some quality control issues and rather quickly a Mark II model was introduced which dealt with most of these issues. But eventually the production of all bikes even the small blocks would be moved into the main Mandela factory. Not surprisingly, the small, rather over square 500cc unit would be developed through larger sizes from 650 and eventually reaching 750cc. The end of the millennium saw the Breva 750 introduced. Although it looked modern, it still made use of the same old Tonti frame and Tonti developed engine. Realising that they could cash in on their history, Gutti developed the Breva into the new V7 series. These of course have nothing to do with the original large block V7s and a lot more to do with the old V50. These machines have gradually evolved into very usable retro classic motorcycles and these have been a big seller for Gutti, relatively speaking. They've been very popular because they really do feel like an older machine but they now sport six speed gearboxes, ABS, traction control and fuel injection. The Mark 1 and the Mark 2 would feature the old Heron head. But the later models now feature a more conventional head design. Although it's still with two overhead valves, the all new V85 TT is the latest incarnation of the old small block engine and is the first not to make use of the Tonti frame. Motor Guts may have introduced the V7 as a cheap way into Guzzi ownership but it's proven a remarkable success. After all, it's outlasted the large blocks it was supposed to complement. So what's the future for the V7? Well, it seems to be a rosy one. In Britain, it's the only engine type available. And the V7 remains a popular choice for those looking for a modern classic. So it would seem that the V7 will be with us for some time yet. And indeed, for many people, the small block is the best engine 
and frame combination that Gutsy ever made. And so with that, there's nothing more to say than stay safe and hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, a big thank you for watching.